Hi, Christy in the Rady Kitchen, and today I'm making apple cobbler. This is one of our recipes out of our 101 recipes with Apple's cookbook. And I have some apple trees in my backyard, so I have all different varieties. It doesn't matter, it'll use any variety of apples. And the first thing you need are four cups of thinly sliced apples. Now to peel those, I like to use the Rada vegetable peeler. It's really sharp. It's really easy to remove the peeling. This little end can get out little blemishes out of your apples or your potatoes. And these are home raised apples, so they are going to have some blemishes, but just cut them out. They're fine to use. And then my favorite apple cutting knife is the heavy duty paring knife. And then it's really sharp and can thinly slice those apples. Now once you've sliced and peeled four cups of apples to this, you'll add a half a cup of sugar, three tablespoons of lemon juice, and a half a cup of apple juice. And then you just stir that up. And now we're going to pour these into an 8x8 eight eight baking pan. And I'm going to, you want to lightly grease it, but I'm going to use the Rada Stoneware baking pan. Uh, you don't need to grease that. All right, now you see set these aside and in another bowl we're going to mix the dry ingredients. In a separate bowl you take one cup flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, a fourth a teaspoon of salt, a fourth a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and a half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And just whisk that together. Now in this bowl, I'm going to add a fourth cup of butter that's been softened, and then a half cup of sugar, and you just want to whisk that together until it gets creamy. You could do this in a mixer too. I just like this handy stirrer. So I don't have to get out my mixer. It makes it really easy. So just mix this until it's smooth and creamy. And then we're going to add a half a cup of milk. Just mix that in well. And then we're going to add our flour mixture. And just mix that until it's blended. Now I'll spread this batter over the apples. Now bake this in a preheated 350 degree oven for 40 minutes or until the crust is brown and the filling is bubbly. So the apple cobbler is all baked. It's ready to serve. I'm going to use the server spoon 
works great to serve stuff. It also uh, whips and stirs. And that's the apple cobbler. That's one of the recipes in the 101 Recipes with Apples cookbook.